You and a friend run a half marathon, just 13.1 miles. You finish in 1 hour 31 minutes. Your friend finished in 2 hours 2 minutes. Determine your rate and your friend's rate in miles per hour. We'll be answering this question using the distance equals rate times time formula shown here. Let's first record the given information in the table. We have the distance, rate, and time for you and your friend. Both of you ran 13.1 miles. Now because you want the rate in miles per hour, we need the time in hours. One hour 31 minutes is approximately 1.52 hours. And two hours two minutes is approximately 2.03 hours. The rates are unknown. Let's use the variable r for the two rates. Now using the formula distance equals rate times time, because we're trying to find the rate r, Let's divide both sides of the equation by t to solve the equation for r. Simplifying, notice how we have r equals distance divided by time. So your rate in miles per hour would be equal to 13.1 miles divided by 1.52 hours. And your friend's rate is equal to 13.1 miles divided by 2.03 hours. I've already found these quotients to save some time. 13.1 divided by 1.52 is approximately 8.62. The units would be miles per hour, probably written as MPH. And 13.1 divided by 2.03 is approximately 6.45. Again, the units would be miles per hour. Let's go ahead and record this in the table. And now let's go to the next question. By the time you had finished, how many more miles did your friend have to run? Well, you finished the race in 1.52 hours, and your friend ran at a rate of 6.45 miles per hour. So to help answer this question, we first have to determine the distance traveled at this rate for this time. So we'll use the formula distance equals rate times time. The distance your friend ran is equal to the rate of 6.45. I'm going to write the units as miles per hour times the time it took you to finish the race, which would be 1.52 hours. Notice in the product, the units of hours would simplify out, leaving us with the units of miles. 6.45 times 1.52 is approximately 9.80, and this would be miles. So when you finished, your friend had ran 9.80 miles. Remember, the race is 13.1 miles long, which means your friend still has to run 13.1 miles minus 9.80 miles, which equals 3.3 miles. So when you finished, your friend still had to run 3.3 miles. Let's go to the next question. How much further could you have ran if you ran as long as your friend? Well, your friend ran for 2.03 hours, and you ran at a rate of 8.62 miles per hour. So to help us answer this question, we need to figure out the distance you can run at this rate for this long. So using distance equals rate times time, the distance you can run is equal to the rate of 8.62 miles per hour times the time of 2.03 hours. Again, notice how the units of hours simplifies out. So the distance is equal to this product, which is approximately 17.50 miles. This is not the answer to the question, though. The question is, how much further could you have run if you ran as long as your friend. Remember, the race was 13.1 miles. To figure out how much further you could have ran, we take the distance of 17.50 miles, subtract the distance of the race, which is 13.1 miles. This difference is equal to 4.4 miles, which means you could have ran 4.4 more miles if you ran as long as your friend. 
Let's look at one more question. What was your time and your friend's time for running each mile on average? So using the same rates, we'll now change the distance to one mile, determine how long it would take in hours for each of you to run one mile. So again, going back to our formula, distance equals rate times time, we're now looking for time. Let's divide both sides of the equation by r. So now we have time t is equal to distance divided by rate. So the time it takes you to run one mile would be t equals one mile divided by your rate, which is 8.62 miles per hour. And for your friend, the time would be one mile divided by the rate of 6.45 miles per hour. In both of these equations, the units of miles simplifies out, leaving us with time in hours. One divided by 8.62 is approximately 0.12, the units would be hours, and one divided by 6.45 is approximately 0.16 hours. Let's record this information in the table. During the race, it takes you on average 0.12 hours to run each mile, and it takes your friend on average 0.16 hours to run each mile. Let's also show how to convert this time to minutes. 0 0.12 hours is approximately 7.2 minutes, and 0 0.16 hours is approximately 9.6 minutes. So what we can say is you averaged 7.2 minutes per mile during the race, and your friend averaged 9.6 minutes per mile during the race. I hope you found this helpful.